Hi folks, my name is Luke Smales and today we're going to be talking about recording an S-Log on your Sony Alpha Series camera. This may initially seem like a daunting task, but it uh, can be quick and easy once understood properly. In this tutorial, I'll be delving in the technicalities of recording in S-Log footage. This tutorial will help assist you regardless of your expertise or your knowledge when recording S-Log on the Sony Alpha Series. I'm going to be helping you understand the concept of recording S-Log and understanding what S-Log can do for your footage. Hopefully I'm going to be uh, enlightening you on the advantages that comes with recording with S-Log and I'll hopefully be able to tell you why you should record it over your standard picture profile and to be able to understand the utilization that comes with recording an S-Log. I'd like to start with what is S-Log? I'm going to begin by clarifying the essence of what S-Log actually is. S-Log stands as a specialised picture profile furnished by Sony within their Alpha camera range. A picture profile, to explain to you simply, is a colour profile that offers exceptional tonal reproduction in both the highlights and in both the lowlights. In other words, they expose the brightest parts of your video without destroying the detail that's actually kept within the video. This makes for improved dynamic range. The results in the extremely flat and washed out colours will be able to be changed during colour grading and keep extreme tonal reproduction. The extremely flat and washed out colours within the S-Log will be able to be colour graded to even have better detail than standard footage. So your image can have more extreme dynamic range have more detail within the footage itself. You'll be able to preserve the intricate details in the lightest and the darkest parts of your image. But you may be asking, what are the benefits of S-Log? Why we may opt to shoot an S-Log over standard shooting formats. Firstly, S-Log proves invaluable in scenarios where there's extreme contrast in shooting when capturing footage scenes with bright highlights and deep shadows. S-Log is able to retain detail in both extremities, as some different picture profiles may struggle with this. Secondly, S-Log is really able to show flexibility in post-production. With its dynamic range, it is able to have precise control over exposure and the application of colour grading techniques to craft the desired aesthetic look. Lastly, S-Log elevates the level of professionalism in a person's work, particularly when needed for client-driven projects or projects that demand a high calibre of image quality. S-Log conveys a cinematic quality to a person's footage, setting it apart from standard shooting. But what are the disadvantages of S-Log? While S-Log has many merits, it's uh, essential to acknowledge its many limitations. Among these is S-Log footage immediately out of camera, is often presented as flat, uh, washed out, and usually unusable straight out of camera. The thing is, S-Log has to undergo color grading and is part of the process of shooting an S-Log. Secondly, S-Log can be somewhat challenging to expose optimally. Care has to be taken to make sure it is not overexposed or underexposed. If either way is done, it can lead to a loss of detail within the image. Now let's begin with a comprehensive guide of how to shoot an S-Log. Start by navigating into your picture profile settings, which can usually be done if you have your camera in movie settings, and then press FN, and then go to picture profile. Once you go into picture profile, it's usually picture profile 7 or picture profile 8 is usually sitting in S-Log. S-Log is usually S-Log 2 or S-Log 3 on the Sony Alpha series. You have to exercise a lot of control over your exposure tools when shooting an S-Log. Employ tools such as the waveform monitor or the histogram in the Sony settings. For those who may not be confident towards extreme colour grading, consider the use of a flat or neutral colour profile to use and to be able to edit with. This will begin with a foundation with a less profound flatness in the captured footage. In conclusion, the decision to shoot an S-Log on your Sony Alpha camera can significantly improve the quality of your footage. The selection of S-Log over standard shooting formats is advisable. In scenarios where heightened dynamic range or an enhanced cinematic quality is needed. Thank you for joining me today and I give you my best wishes in shooting an S-Log format.